What's good, YouTube? It's your boy TSO Sage, and I'm back with another video. Not gonna waste anyone's time here. This is part two of the Attack on NBA Fan series, specifically for teams in the West. And it's not like you need to go back and watch part one to understand this, but after this video, you definitely should go back and watch the East. But without further ado, if you guys like the video, don't forget to like the video, and let's get right to it. Starting off with wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, literally, last video, I just manslaughtered this franchise, but uh, your robot needs a tune up. You have literally two perpetual playoff chokers. You wasted a prime. Chris Paul, can you put a chain on your Rottweiler, please? And literally, if someone ordered Kawhi Leonard an eight count nugget, he'd take it as disrespect. The Memphis Grizzlies, you guys are projected to be a really good playoff team one day with a bunch of players who can defend, solid coaching, and a couple of players who, although they won't exactly be top 10, they'll certainly be all star caliber one day. Getting the weirdest sense of deja vu. Uh, for some reason, you compare Ja Morant to Zion Williamson literally every day. I don't know why y'all do that. Furthermore, this is the only fan base that I find that ignores everyone else on its young core except Ja Morant. Don't hear nothing about Triple J. Don't hear nothing about Dylan Brooks, Brandon Clark. It's just Ja, Ja, Ja turning into Ra, Ra, Ra. Because you ain't winning shit anyway. The Utah Jazz. You hold Donovan Mitchell. You hold Donovan Mitchell and you're still hoeing Donovan Mitchell. Oh, but Siege, we're the one seed. And Rudy Gobert just had a 2020. Bro, do you even, do you even believe in that? Seriously, Jazz fans, y'all are living in a fantasy right now and you know it. Mike Conley faked you out for some bread. And and you play in Utah. Like historically, players hate playing in Utah. Even some of the players that played for Utah. Like for real though, niggas see Utah on the schedule and be like, no, 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 no. Oh, and Rudy, I blame you for everything. But you cool with Kenny, so I'm chilling. The Sacramento Kings. How these niggas actually stay getting that work in California, bro? This nigga De'Aaron can't shoot, bro. Oh my God, are y'all done overrating Buddy Hill? We know he can fucking shoot, but golly. Get his cock out your mouth. Last season, every five minutes, minutes buddy healed this buddy healed that buddy heel goes to this team and they're gonna be bruh and i'm not gonna use the word bust but i'm gonna at least call this nigga marvin bagley a dud bruh because what the fuck and harrison barnes is still making 20 million dollars that's crazy oh yeah luke walton the los angeles lakers hot damn hot water hot shower whoa whoa hot slam smoking green cauliflower Hold up, hold up, we got another hit song. I got all my day was with a win. Okay, Chris. Hold up, hold up, hold up, cause KCP and Caruso acting different. Where the fuck was this last year? Hold on, partner, I ain't done yet. Hey, AD, it's starting to smell like bitch down there, nigga, tee up. Oh shit, let me get my Marcus all on. Hold up, hold up. Speed on tortoise minus the hair. God damn, boy. And you can't talk about the Lakers without talking about the King. But apparently the King don't like to rule shit. This man LeBron will have 20 in the first half and in the game with 28. Oh, but Sage, he's trying to get his other teammates involved. He's trying to get them going too. Respectfully, respectfully. Fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas. Fuck them niggas. LeBron's a lot of great things. But if there's one negative thing about LeBron James for his entire career, is that he's probably the best player I've ever seen that can consistently ice himself on a night to night basis. And for my bronze section, Fuck you, I'm spitting facts. And yes, the Lakers get a longer segment. I'm a fucking Lakers fan, bitch. But if I told you LeBron James was shooting 41% from three on six threes of games, you'd think the nigga averaging 30. He's averaging 25 points. I'm not saying I want a 35 point per game season out of LeBron. He's never been that. All I'm saying is, nigga, if you gotta keep it going, damn, you're LeBron James. And Dennis Schroeder has been consistently good, but inconsistent at what he's good at. Like one minute it's the defense, the next minute it's the playmaking, the next it's the shooting. Nigga, pick something. The Dallas Mavericks. A glass cannon doesn't even describe KP anymore. What the fuck is he? A needle boy? Fucking Kakarot? He's not here. He's never there. Hey, Luca. Ha, ha, ha. You gonna work on that jump shot or nah? You my dog and all, but fuck, boy, tee up. Nigga signed Josh Richardson and thought they was gonna win a title. I'm dead. The Denver Nuggets. That Clippers pack must have worn off because whee, Jamal ain't got it no more, bruh. Niggas was crying for me to call Jamal top five. Ain't happening. Now I I think it's kind of obvious. Yo, get you. You, you kind of going stupid. I ain't going to lie. But you're still a mid-ass defender. Fuck you. Michael Porter Jr. plays soft basketball. That is all. Seriously, though. Trade that nigga for like Beal or some shit. Let's make it fun. You have a man named Millsap on your team. And for the love of God, someone please feed Bobo. How you a millionaire and you hungry, dummy? The New Orleans Pelicans. Look, I know it's way too early in his career to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway because fuck it. That nigga Zion looks like exactly the same. I'm I'm 
just saying, bro. It's about to be back to back two years of the same nigga. That's all I'm saying. Why the fuck is Eric Bledsoe on this team? And speaking of shit that doesn't make any sense, holy fuck, it's on the same franchise. Free Lonzo. Imagine telling Lonzo Ball to sit in the corner. Literally, the polar opposite of how you should use Lonzo Ball is making him an off ball corner sitter. Apparently, last night he actually had the ball in his hands, and holy shit, he had a good game. Not saying he's going to get you 25 every night, but fuck. And B.I. stomach growling. Oh, actually, one more thing. Jackson Hayes sucks. The Houston Rockets. Y'all niggas just... Honestly, you done violated yourselves, bro. I'm not even going to say nothing. The San Antonio Spurs. Get with the times, old man. The only game I watched this season from the Spurs is against the Lakers, so I'm not going to lie. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about right there. I just wanted to call Pop old. Uh, DeMar DeFrozen. Wish he had that fire back. LaMarcus Aldridge. Wish he had that fire back. Rudy Gay. Wish he had that fire back. And where's all the DeJounta hype from like three, four years ago? The Phoenix Suns. This franchise is so irrelevant most of the time. I have to consistently remind myself they have Chris Paul now. And these niggas only nine and eight. I mean, come on now, dog. Devin Booker, Chris Paul, DeAndre Ayton. The rest of the roster ain't made of scrubs. In fact, it's pretty good. Be better. First, it was a seven-second offense. Now, it's seven seconds of fame. Like, goddamn. The Oklahoma City Thunder. Well, you're the team that has Al Horford on it, so LOL. Oh, yeah, you have that dunk guy, Diallo, right? Good for you. And although having Lou, Shy, and a bunch of picks are cool, you know what would be real fucked up? If you missed on all of them picks. Hey, yo, if the Thunder bust out for the next seven seasons, we need to have a talk, bro. We need to have a conversation. Conversation. The Minnesota Timberwolves. Watch out for that nigga D-Lo, bro. I'm trying to tell you. I'm a half-decent human being, so I'm not going to make fun of Carl Anthony Towns right now. Going through a lot of shit doesn't need a nigga like me making fun of him. But Anthony Edwards, I'm not going to lie, bro. It's not hitting. It's just not hitting, bro. It's like one minute I see it, and then the next I just... Don't. I wasn't too big on this draft class anyway, and I need to familiarize myself more with it. But I've seen like two, three Timberwolves games this season. And I don't mind the missed shots in the rookie season because it is what it is. But he does play kind of wild, and I don't know how I feel about that. One minute it works, and then the next it just does not. Not at all. I'm just saying, if there's a part three to the Timberwolves' young core stick, and it fails again, that's tough. The Portland Trailblazers. Hey, yo, that nigga CJ hooping like a motherfucker, ain't he? I mean, he putting up like 27 a night on insane efficiency. He's shooting the ball 22 times a night. Hey, this nigga going crazy. Trade him. Oh, you're not going to trade him, huh? So you're going to fall for this for the fifth time in a row. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, Dame, remember this? He's trying to get quality looks and get a clean look so he can make a good one. You know, it, it's, you don't really have that luxury to just, like, take one from from that deep, you know, just to be taking it. Right, right. And that led to the front court. Draymond <laughs> finds him another three. Got it! 62! Tough. Enos Cantor's on the team? Ew. RDC done made it big time. Shout out my nigga Dez. And do you guys remember Nazir Little? Yeah, I didn't either. And last but not least, the Golden State Warriors. Outside of Draymond and Steph Curry, the team is full of a bunch of young and stupid niggas doing a bunch of young and stupid shit. Probably the dumbest thing of all, though, is Steve Kerr. Why are you running Klay Thompson and Kevin Durant plays with Kelly Oubre and Andrew Wiggins? And he be mad when they don't do the shit. Like, Andrew Wiggins will run baseline to baseline, catch the ball in the corner right behind Kevon Looney. Like, like, literally right behind Kevon Looney. And like how you'd expect Andrew Wiggins to shoot a fadeaway turnaround three, he either bricks it or he doesn't shoot it at all. And then Steve Kerr's gonna throw his fucking clipboard in the air and throw his hands up and shit. Like, you wanted him to shoot that shit? Every time I see Andrew Wiggins touch the basketball, my mind goes, Dinkleberg. But not only is he not even playing that bad this season, but he's doing it in your wild-ass system. Like, I don't know. Make a reasonable play for Andrew Wiggins. Oh my God, I just threw up saying that shit. Never mind, bro. Ew, Wiggins. But that's gonna do it for today's video. It's been your boy TSO Sage. Now I got a lot of opposite part twos and other videos to put out, but then I think about it, and you guys don't even want them shits because something new happens every other day. Like for a week, everyone wanted a Nets video, and by the time I sat down ready to record it, nobody wanted the Nets video. Like my reaction to what B Soul said about OSN's top 50, nobody cares about that shit right now. Like I'm not gonna put that video out. But a series like players and media, that's going on forever. That's just good content, I'm not gonna lie. So basically, what I'm saying is, unless it's a series that I know will last literally forever. I'm gonna just chill on promising content and shit because it's not always gonna be the most anticipated video. And one final thing, I'm about to have a lot more free time on my hands soon and the grind is about to go crazy. Trust in your boy Sage, man. My goal is 50k by the end of the year. And listen here, motherfucker, I'm getting that shit, bro. I'm getting it on God. So without further ado, if you guys like the video, like the video. If you like my content, subscribe. Why the fuck you watching my shit and you're not subscribed? And it's me, boy TSO Sage. I'm gonna holla at y'all later. Take care and stay blessed.